Hello and welcome to this review of my LG Roly KBB700 keyboard. This keyboard was a donation, thanks again May. It's a small rollable keyboard. Now when it was first offered to me, I figured it was basically a 60% version of the Fold 2000, which is this thing right here. For the newer viewers among you, the Cool Green Fold 2000 is a rollable silicone keyboard that I reviewed years ago, and it's one of the worst keyboards I've ever used. If you like the sweary videos, this one is a staple watch. This vaguely keyboardoid abomination is horrible beyond description. Jesus, jet ski and Christ and Mary surfboarding Magdalene, it's fucking awful. Now, I figured this LG would be basically the same, except worse, because it's a 60% form factor, whereas the Fall 2000 was at least still a full size. But I was greatly mistaken, and in hindsight, that was rather silly of me, because the two are obviously very different. Firstly, the keyboard wasn't really meant to be used with a PC. Unlike the Fall 2000, which has a PS2 connector, this one is completely wireless and Bluetooth only. In fact, it was very clearly meant to be used with devices such as smartphones and tablets, something made evident by the addition of these wing clips here. Like so. They fit my Huawei, or however the fuck you're supposed to pronounce it, perfectly, but only if you take off the protector cover first. I don't have a tablet, so I can't confirm it will hold one without toppling over, but I'm guessing it would. The fact that it was made for touchscreen devices rather than actual PCs makes a massive difference because it means that it's competing with typing on glass rather than with, well, <laughs> this, frankly. And that's obviously a much easier battle to fight because you're not up against things like this or this or this. Second, the keyboard isn't based on a flexible silicone mat, but rather a chiclet keyboard where they made flexible sections between the rows, which are rigid. So it's not a fully deformable keyboard like the Fall 2000, but rather a keyboard that's capable of being collapsed into a more compact form. As a result, it doesn't have the extreme mushiness that the Fall 2000 has because it uses scissor switches rather than a big silicone blob to type on. And while it's certainly not that nice to actually type on, it is still better than typing on glass. I use this keyboard to type on my phone with occasionally, and I also type the entirety of the script for this video on it, and I have to say that it makes the tips of my fingers, particularly my left middle finger, really hurt after extended use, so I end up typing with my fingernails a lot, but at least it types a lot faster than a touchscreen. Little bit of background info, most people type on their smartphones like this, but due to a combination of a thumb tendon injury, and in order to prevent RSI, I hold my phone like this, and type on it like this. Yeah, I know, it looks ridiculous, and it's not very fast, but it's not fun if I don't do it like this, trust me. So obviously the LG types a lot faster than that if nothing else, although the amount of stuff I needed to type was never enough to make up for the time of getting this, unfolding it, taking out the wing, sticking in the phone, etc. The only time I did use it for an extended period was when writing this script, and even then I could have used my normal keyboard, which was lying right in front of it, and that would have been a lot faster still, as well as considerably more comfortable. It runs off a single AAA battery, by the way. I don't know how long it will last, but it's lasted me so far, at least. In order to connect to it, you press Fn plus B for a few seconds, and then this light here starts to blink, indicating that it's in discovery mode. On your device, you can then find the keyboard, connect to it, and it gives you a code that you need to type on the keyboard, and then it's connected. Anyways, maybe it's useful for people typing things up during journeys or something. It is fairly compact at least, you just roll it up like this and little magnets in the panels lock them at 90 degree angles from the battery compartment. It's got a sensor as well that switches the keyboard off if it's rolled up. Really elegant solution overall. It's a damn sight better than the Fall 2000 at least, which is much bulkier and which you're supposed to tie up with its own cable like this, I guess. So portability-wise, the LG got this one in the bag. How actually useful it is compared to the Fall 2000, I'm still not sure though, because as I surmised in that video, while it's absolutely awful to type on and the portability aspect is a complete fucking joke, it does have one use that I can think of as an industrial keyboard. 
See, the Fold 2000 is waterproof, very hardy, and easy to clean. So you could use this with dirty gloves or even a hazmat suit and just wash it up under the tap later if necessary. Just make sure to keep the connector dry. Don't type a whole essay on it, that would be impossible, but a few short numbers or notes, sure, not a problem. Meanwhile, chiclet keyboards are generally very sensitive to water, so I think this would be much more fragile. The layout is also really not great. The keys are slightly smaller than on a normal keyboard, and some are less than one unit too. The stagger is different. A lot of things, including all the number keys, are accessed with one or more modifiers, and the arrows are in an L nav rather than the more usual inverse T shape. And the apostrophe key is under a function layer, which is quite annoying in an apostrophe heavy language like English. Also, because it uses chiclet keys, I find it very easy to hit the wrong keys or multiple keys at a time. This is something I found happened with those low-profile mechanical keyboards too, except they had less of an excuse for that design choice. Overall, it's certainly not as awful to use as the Fall 2000, and I definitely don't hate it as much, probably due to the fact that I didn't use it full time, but ironically, at the same time, I don't think it's quite as useful. Execution wise, it's not bad, I'd say. Clearly, some decent thought went into making this, and I'm pretty sure it is faster than typing on the glass, but I think that might have created an answer to a problem that didn't really exist. I suspect most people would do their typing on the move on a laptop anyway, rather than on a tablet, and it's really not convenient enough to just do the occasional email or WhatsApp message with. So, on that surprisingly neutral note, that's it for this review. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and following as a typing demonstration of me typing on this keyboard.